Hello, my name is Mark Reynolds, and I'm the National Director of Sales for the School Music Division of Sabian Education. I am so excited to be here today to talk about Sabian Education for the PASIC Virtual 2020. We've all lived in a strange time right now where we're all trying to figure out like how we're gonna do what we can do um, in the world of education. And you're here right now because you care deeply about education. You're at PASIC, you're in front of your computer screen, and we're so honored that you came to join us for our Sabian virtual booth. We care about education deeply. And one of the things that we, we talk about all the time is three words. We talk about create, innovate and educate. And those are the three most important things to us right now is that we have this community of artists that are here to help us develop sounds, develop um, new ways and, and new things that we can do out there in the world of education, whether it's on the marching field, whether it's indoors for indoor drumline, whether it's on the orchestral stage, whether it's for college ensembles, we are here to help you create that sound that you want. Um, we're really excited about some new developments that we've had. I even amidst the pandemic, we have got to the point where we've just buried ourselves in trying to create new sounds. And one of the things that we have done is we've created the new HHX Complex, Espressivo hand symbols. And we are so excited about these. Um, we've had multiple artists kind of try these and just kind of get their feeling and, and their impression of these. Um, basically everything we've gotten back is this is probably one of the best symbols we've ever made. Um, we're so excited about all the developments that have come from the complex drum set side. And Mark Love and I kind of put our heads together and said, what can we do to develop one of the finest hand symbols we've ever made? And I really believe we've done it. It's taken a lot of work and a lot of trial and error. Uh, but this is one of the one of the most exciting new symbols that I've heard anybody come out with. Um, we've also introduced the brand new Sabian HHX Complex Suspendeds. Um, I kind of talked to a lot of artists and said, you know, hey, what are you looking for? What kind of suspended symbols? What sizes do we need? And almost all the artists said, we got to have a 17 and a 19. So that's what we've done. We've made a 17 complex uh, suspended and a 19 inch complex. This thing opens up so quick. It has a great swell to it. Um, it has a wonderful balance and blend and you're going to see that in some of the other um, videos that you're going to see throughout this 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 take is, is going to be a lot of artists kind of playing these and kind of giving you a sample of these. Um, we also have a brand new 10 inch XSR mini hi-hat. Um, that's going to be something that I think a lot of people are going to use. It's on a mount right now that will go on your, your marching snare or even a set of marching tenors um, that you're going to be able to play this without having the cymbals hold for you. We wanted something that was going to be, that was going to sound great and that was going to project on the field and kind of set over top of the ensemble, but yet not be heavy like a 13 or a 14 inch. And I think we've hit it right on the head. Um, Clemson University kind of helped us develop these. Um, probably about three or four weeks ago, used them for the first time, and it sounds amazing. So we're really excited about these. A lot of people have talked about, hey, I'm going to get a pair of those to put on my drum set or in my front ensemble rack um, setup or something like that. So I think this is going to be something that you're going to be able to look for. Um, all of these great products, along with um, you know the XSR line all the way up to the Artisan, is going to be available. Um, please take a look at Steve Weiss Music is going to have all of these products for you um, and going to be special prices that you're going to be able to get throughout the weekend. Thank you so much for being involved in PASIC uh, 2020 virtual. Thank you so much for coming into our virtual booth and we're so grateful that you're here with us and please check out all the amazing sounds and colors that Sabian has to offer with education. So, I'm so excited. First time playing them, what mm -hmm. do you think? They're absolutely wonderful, man. Uh, you know, these symbols are sort of unlike anything else in the Sabian catalog right now. Um, I think they cover a lot of bases, and I really see them as, as just a new option for a general, a general symbol. You know? Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and that's kind of what we were going for. One of the things that we wanted to try to do with the complex Espressivos is 
you know, a larger bell, mm -hmm. um, which should feel really comfortable when you're holding the cymbals. Oh yeah. Larger bell, more hammering on the cymbals so that it has more of that focus fundamental, which is one of the things that we were really going for. We have a couple guys that are trained um, to hand pick hand select all of these to pair them up yeah. and when they started pairing these it was like oh man this is so much easier because the fun fundamental is already there so mm -hmm. that's great so do you think would you compare this to anything else yeah in our line or yeah i think you know typically i i like to use hhx synergies but those are a little bit of a brighter symbol and and i think where i you know really see the comparison here is to the artisan line um you know especially maybe the mediums or the, the medium thin symbols the medium light ones um you know, these are 18s. We have a set of the 18 inch. Yeah, let's, let's just try it and yeah. see, what, see what those sound like. So these are the 18 inch artisan medium lights and uh, yeah, a little bit of a thinner symbol. Yeah. And uh, you can kind of listen here. Yeah, it is a completely different mm -hmm. sound. Yeah, yeah. And, and these top out maybe a, just a little bit sooner than the HHX because the, the, the new Espressivo symbols seem to be a little bit thicker than these, right? Right. So, like I said, they kind of cover that general range maybe a bit better than a, a slightly thinner symbol like this. But, of course, you get a, you know, a little bit more overtones here uh, without all of that bell hammering going on. Right. So, back to the Espressivos. Those were the 18s. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that symbol is gonna fit nicely on a stage with like a wind ensemble or orchestral playing. Like, do you think it's gonna cover all those bases? Cause that's what we were trying. That's what we were shooting for. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course it'll sound great with a wind ensemble, that sort of darker characteristic to, you know, really bridge the gap between different colors in the group. And I think with the orchestra, one thing we're always fighting against is the, the, the actual dynamics of the symbols and not blasting out the orchestra in front of us. You know, if right. you're playing with a string section and maybe just a couple of woodwind and brass, the synergies might be just a little bit bright for some of those um, circumstances, even though, I mean, I tend to use those as my go-tos. And, and I see this symbol as really bringing the light and the dark characteristics together in one symbol. Yeah, and, that's uh, a great way to put it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think that enhanced fundamental you talked about, I mean, that's, that's really where these things shine. It has a very, you know, I would say clear fundamental, but the sound is very complex and diverse as, you know, obviously the name suggests. Right. Well, that's um, awesome. Well, yeah. I am so excited that you got to play them, you yeah. know, and it means a lot to us. You being an artist of ours for some time, it's, it's, it's great to have an artist like you on our team. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mark. Awesome. So brand new, first time you played them. What do you think? What's your reactions? Fantastic. I mean, these are awesome. these are sensational instruments. Um, they 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 really fill a void in the sense that uh, the the sounds are very unique. They've got they're 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 bright, but they're full. You know, 17s and 19s, even 21s and perhaps 23. Those are they're, they've always been kind of in between sizes and have held a certain mystique with players. But in particular, um, these symbols, because of the way in which they, they respond, uh, they just, they, they build and, but uh, like this, this 19, for instance, the ability to, to play a... a sustained role like that, 
but not having to feel like you have to have a 20 or 21 inch symbol to, to make that happen. This Does it symbol, play pretty easy? It, like, it's incredibly easy. And, and, and this particular symbol, you know, if you, you know, to be able to go a 16 inch symbol, as an example, would have a really bright sound, but it would it would thin out right quickly right. in a in a in a thinner symbol. This doesn't do that. It sustains. It has presence, so it responds quickly, but it doesn't die away. Right. So so these are these are really really great. They're beautiful sounding symbols, and in particular, I think uh, they'll work really really well in a. Uh, in a wind ensemble context because they'll be able to you know you'll be able to sustain the rolls they'll cut through and and they have they have the warmth and the character of a hammered symbol right yeah well and that's what we were trying to go for you know some people are think oh well they just took a you know a crash symbol just made it into a suspended symbol but mark love and the factory takes great pride in making sure that like we make these things sound like beautiful instruments mm -hmm. right out of the box, you know? So there's a little little larger bell, kind of like on the hand cymbals, um, more hammering. Like these have a three ping hammer system. We also hammer on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. um, so the bow of it kind of thins out a little more than it would on a regular crash cymbal. And it just sounds amazing. When I heard them out of the box, I was just blown away at like the darkness quality and just how easy it was to play. So I think for high school ensembles, um, whether it's percussion ensemble, marching band, whatever it's going to be, wind ensemble, I think it's going to sound amazing. And I just thought it played great. Well, and you know, one other thing that I, I should mention is is the mallet. I mean, th this is a Sabian right. <laughs> uh, suspended cymbal mallet. Right. And and it's a little bit a little bit harder. Uh, and uh, you know, than you normally might find with like a soft sure. marimba mallet. So I think we have to be consider, uh, you have to consider about what mallet that you're going to use because this it's got, it's a, a large mallet. So it gives, there's some, uh, there's some of that, but it also responds very quickly. Well, you know, so. it's kind of like we've talked before, Bob, you know, when I, I'm sure it's the same thing with you when I go do clinics at high schools and stuff, and I ask a band director, hey, do we have a different suspended cymbal? He tells Johnny to go back in the back and pick up the 16-inch crash cymbal from the drum set. Right, right. It's just like anything else. You know, we have a plethora of sounds for suspended cymbals right. from all different price ranges. Um, you know, buy a great pair of suspended cymbal mallets, you know, so that you're not using timpani mallets on a suspended That's cymbal. Right. So uh, we make two sizes of these. Uh, we have a hard version and we also have a general. This is okay. the general um, and it makes the cymbal, I think, sound great. And, it, and I think it lends itself with the rattan handles yeah. to play in great suspended cymbal rolls. Right. So right. No, well, thanks good, so good much choice. for playing these. I mean, it's, we're so honored that you're on the Sabian team and in the family. And, and I was so excited to bring these to you today to, to kind of play. So I really appreciate you. Well, they're an exciting them. product and I hope everybody gets a chance to hear them in person. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Bob. One of the great, exciting products that we have coming out for you um, for PASIC, virtual PASIC, is going to be the 10-inch XSR mini hats. Something that a lot of people have asked me about. Uh, do you have kind of like a solution for, you know, having a hi-hat mounted on, especially in today's world with masks and social distancing? Um, a lot of cymbal players can't hold for the snare drummers now. So Dr. Paul Beyer from Clemson University contacted me back in June and said, hey, this is gonna be an issue. And we have a lot of stuff that we use groove oriented where we usually have the cymbal players hold for the hi-hat. So what we've done is with the help of Mark Love down in the factory, we've created this wonderful XSR 
uh, mini hi-hat. It's 10 inches. Um, it's you know able to be mounted on a snare drum, uh, set of tenors, anything like that. One of the cool things is I've had a lot of people that I've showed this to that now want to put this on their rack percussion in their front ensembles or even on their drum set. Um, so it's really great solution. And it sounds killer. Uh, Dr. Byer said that uh, on the field, it sounded amazing and had a really nice cut that kind of made it through the rest of the ensemble, uh, which is really exciting and hard to do with a 10 inch hat. So this thing, I'm telling you, it's killer.